Sports Park. This is where they raced the swamp buggies through the uh, zippy hole, but they drained the swamp and brought on the monsters. We are ready for semifinal round action with Bigfoot against Nightmare, the fast loser in the last round. And then Snake Mike Colt Cobra will take on the Grave Digger with Wild Hancock. Well, you get out of the final four here. None of these, these guys are like street fighters. Nobody's afraid of the guy in the other lane. Everybody's just going to put it on kill. Hancock comes out in the kill there with Hill Base 50 Chevrolet motor located to the rear. Chevrolet fans will be pulling for him when most popular trucks out there. But you know, very quickly gaining popularity is this truck. The motor mounted to the front. Snake bike, kind of the, the mystery guys of the sport here. But only one of them is going into the final. Which one's it going to be? Uh, you get that Ford product in a 1950 Chevy panel truck. Two of the most popular trucks really on the entire circuit, especially with the kids. Oh, sure. You know, everybody, every kid in the world, yours and mine included, you got toys in here. And t-shirts, and hats. Man, who's going to go to the next round, Gary? Check it out. Woo, they bike, perhaps? No, no. We're being told it is the Grave Digger. The Grave Digger by only inches. Oh, we'll have to take another look. Looks like a red light man that's going into the final. The big question is who's going to be going again. It is side by side as they drill that light into no man's land. Still side by side. Second set of cars and only by inches right there. It is Lyle Hancock in the Grave Digger. Well, Lyle, we know your half of the final is going to be you. Does it make any difference who you go against, the GMC or the Ford in the final? Yeah, it makes a difference to me. I've been wanting to get against Bigfoot all year long. And then tell you what, the guy's the toughest one there is in the whole crowd to run against, as far as I'm concerned. And nothing would make my year better than end it by beating Bigfoot. Boy, well, there's exactly what he wants. So let's see if he gets his wish, because we look at Nightmare, Kirk Dabney. Now, he comes back as a fast loser from the preceding round, and he will pull up alongside Bigfoot and Andy Brad. I want to tell you something about Dabney. He feels exactly the same way that Lyle Hancock does. As a matter of fact, if you're in the sport, anytime you go up against this truck, everybody wants to beat him. Yeah, when you're king of the hill, everybody wants yeah. to knock you off. And right now, they're all shooting at Bigfoot. He has won so many of these battles that everybody wants to beat Andy Brad and Bigfoot. Dabney could do it if he lays down a good shot. He's close to the wall. We're on board. Take a ride. Dabney. Dabney got him. Kirk Dabney got him, so he gets what he wanted. He beats Bigfoot. However, now Lyle Hancock will not get foot in the final. Yeah, but he's going to have a face full of nightmare before this one's over. Look at the tire. Something broke on the left rear of that truck. The wheel. Well, we can, can pick see, this yeah. up right here, Army. You say something broke on the left yeah. rear. The left rear wheel right now, solid white. And the shot before we came to this, a seal or something had broken. Part of that wheel was black, but that's irrelevant. Right now, the final is set, Gary. Well, there is a look at Kirk Dabney. Look at, you can see the jubilation through that full face helmet as he backs up into uh, his pit area. Let's look again, straight on. See if something does break on that left rear of Bigfoot. But it's all Kirk Dabney. Boy, good camera work there. Oh, good run by the youngster from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Remember you said? Water, yeah. You take out the moon, I take out snake. You, yeah, you, you heard water? Lyle say, I took out snake. Yeah, now what? Good run, buddy. Well, I hope you guys are going to be this friendly. Well, I'll come over. I hope you guys are going to be this friendly when the final's over because the crowd is staying around to see it. It's almost like a dream come true. You're not supposed to be here. And you said if you could just get to the final, you'd thump them all. So they're all going to go on the table in just a minute, boys. Well, Army, you know, we're, we're real happy to be here in the finals, and we feel like this is just a dream come true, and that's all we can say, you know. We, we hope we beat Grave Digger, but even if we don't, we, we've done 110% today, took Bigfoot out. Took some of the big guys out, and that's enough. Okay, how do you guys feel in the Grave Digger camp now? And I tell you what, I mean, he said it all. If that isn't about as basic as you can get, I don't know what is. I love it. Tell you what, boys, time to go to war. We'll see you out there. All that's left to be said is we're coming back with the final. Come back with us. You have a great choice. All right. <laughs> For the Sports Park in Naples, where Ford Trucks present the Penda four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Suncoast National, as part of the BF Goodrich Performance Racing Series. These Jamborees offer a host of activities for the truck lover, 
as well as the entire family. And to find out more, call or write to the special event promotion company. There they are. We are ready for the final nightmare. The GMC and Grave Digger, the 1950 Chevy panel truck. Can you come up with any more appropriate name to Nightmare and Grave Digger when you're doing a final in the swamp? <laughs> it's almost an eerie feeling down here at this beautiful facility, but this is what the people have paid to see. The finals are here. Well, Kirk Dabney has been here before in the finals with Nightmare, but never before has Lyle Hancock been in the finals with Grave Digger. We have seen Dennis Anderson yeah, in Grave Digger. Exactly finals, right. Never Lyle Hancock. So both drivers want this in a big, big way. Well, Keep seeing that PCI decal come up. These are the guys that come up with racing transmission that's starting to hold all this horsepower. They've done work on drag ships for years, but this is a whole different ball game, and they figured something out that'll hold these behemoths down. Well, keep in mind, both these drivers are here on the basis of a mild upset by knocking out both Snakebite and by knocking out Bigfoot. Yeah, but, you know, you got to go to the top some way, and whatever, whoever you got to crawl over to get there, that's what you got to do. Look where they're lining up. The, the track is actually rutted right on a starting line. No excuses. Everybody goes with everything. Lyle Hancock. Lyle Hancock, a hard landing, though at the finish line, but Lyle Hancock takes the victory, but an excellent showing by Kirk Dabney uh, let me there tell you Nightmare. Something. Yeah, this kid is good. He's going to make a name for himself. Hancock sustained some damage. Yeah, you can see uh, one of the four league bars coming down off of the Grave Digger, but look at here. For the fans, he's going to make a victory lap for them. These guys are very fan-oriented. That's part of the mystique and the success of the Grave Digger. One more look now, side by side. In fact, it looks like Kurt Dabney may have the advantage right there, but look at all the horsepower as the victory goes to Lyle Hancock and the Gravedigger. A hard landing as he's coming right at you with a victory salute. You can see the uh, suspension damage. Yeah. Well, he's got to be tickling it. He's a good man. And the people down here, they love it too. This is what the sport is coming to. The drivers and the trucks develop personalities. Pick your favorite pull for it. Well, I'm sure he'll take the uh, additional work required to fix that truck because it resulted in a victory here in Naples, Florida. And there you can see the damage. But let's go down and talk to Lyle. Well, Al, congratulations. Man, you paid a price, but they loved every second of it, brother. I'll tell you what, like I've said before, them people in them grandstands are the most important thing to me. And of winning and doing what we got to do to get there to make them people happy, that makes me happy, and we're all better off that way. I'll tell you what, you got to be a happy camper. You've done a fantastic job. I know Dennis Anderson did a great job when he picked you to go into that seat, and believe me, you're a hero in every kid's eyes up there. Once again, congratulations. A super race. Thank you very much. I want to say a special thanks to my, my sponsors, good people at Cower and, and, and Goodyear. I mean, we got so many people that are standing behind us and helping us here, and I just want to say thank you for everybody and you, the people. Thank you very much. And Lyle, we say to you congratulations on your first ever win here on the Tractor Tractor Power in the Grave Digger. Although it was not without problems. Look at the uh, bent right rear shock, the suspension damage, and all that carried him to Victory Lane here at Florida Sports Park in Naples. So the fans are leaving, and Army, if you will, on the way out to the rental car, would you pick me up an elephant here? Well, that will wrap it up for us here in Florida. For Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. We'll see you next week on Trucks and Tractor Power. Now here's news and an exciting video release from Diamond Beast Sports. Hi, this is Army Armstrong.